Today we'll be looking at possibly the most important aspect of engineering, material gathering. While there are many ways to gather the various materials you'll need to engineer your ship, here we'll be looking at the most efficient methods for each type of material, raw, encoded, and manufactured. The key to all of these methods are the material traders, which we've covered in a previous video. Let's look at the fastest and most efficient methods to gather any material you may need. We'll start with possibly the easiest method, data gathering. Here we need only use the crash site of Commander Jameson, which we've covered previously. Begin your loot by leaving from Ray Gateway and Diaguandri. That way, when you respawn, you'll already be at the closest data trader. You'll want to start by ensuring that you've traded all of your adaptive encryptive captures, so you'll start the process empty. Once you arrive at the site, just park behind his ship, as from this position, you'll be able to scan the four comms control beacons placed around the site by jumping into your turret and scanning each beacon with your data link scanner. Once you've scanned the fourth beacon, log out to main menu, then back into solo, as you'll need solo to have the site all to yourself. Repeat this process until you've reached the maximum of 100 adaptive encrypted captures, the single grade 5 material you'll receive. Once you've taken your fill, self-destruct the SRV to speed entering your ship. Then lift off, drop your shields via silent running, and boost yourself into the ground, quickly destroying your ship. You'll then respawn back at Ray Gateway so you can immediately use the material trader, saving yourself over 10 minutes in the process. Trade for the specific data you need. Using this method, you can gather 18 of any grade 5 data in under 15 minutes. Repeat this process until you've gathered all the data you need. Now let's look at the most efficient method of gathering raw materials. As with collecting data, you'll want to start at the nearest raw material trader to your home system, such that when you respawn, you'll be able to use the trader immediately. While this method takes several hours to complete, you'll have the maximum 150 of every high-grade raw material, save for selenium, which you'll trade for. The most efficient method is to head to the Crystal Shard locations, again, something we've covered previously. There are six sites, about 1,500 light-years from Seoul, with each site being between 150 and 300,000 light-seconds from the main star. The whole process should take about four hours if you hit all six sites. Before heading out, trade down all of your high-grade raw materials, save for selenium, so you start the process empty. Once you've collected 150 of each material from each specific site, self-destruct to avoid the long trip back, saving yourself over 30 minutes. If you started at the raw material trader, you'll spawn right there, allowing you to very quickly trade down for all the lower grade materials you need. If you'd like to max out every raw material, repeat this process twice, and you likely won't need to collect raw materials for a very, very long time. Finally, let's look at manufactured materials, where the key is the infamous high-grade emission signal source. These are now much easier to find with a much higher spawn rate. Again, material traders are the key. If you're looking for a specific grade 5 material, see the list on screen detailing the system allegiance and state where they spawn. Once you arrive at a target system, drop it on the nav beacon, scan it, and jump to supercruise. With your navigation panel filtered to only signal sources, look for any high-grade emissions. Once targeted, ensure that you can reach it with at least 15 minutes remaining on its timer, even if it's a rather long distance away. Once you drop in, collect all the materials in the instance. Collector limpets are key here. You'll want at least four active limpets. I've included a build for the Crate Phantom I use for this in the description below, as I can't stress enough the importance of collector limpets. When you've gathered everything in the instance, exit the game, and when you restart, log into the same game type you used before. Once you've spawned back into normal space, charge your FSD, but keep your throttle at zero. When your FSD is ready, boost and you'll jump. Then, in Super Cruise, look at your navigation panel and there will be an unknown signal source right next to your ship, likely behind you. Target this, flip around, and drop back in where all the same materials will spawn. Repeat this process until you've gathered all you need. You should be able to collect 100 of any given material in under 15 minutes. Once you've exhausted your limpet supply, head to a manufactured material trader using the excellent trade down rates to acquire any materials you need. With material gathering being possibly the most important aspect of engineering, if you were using any other methods to collect materials, in short, you're doing it wrong. Being able to quickly and efficiently gather materials can dramatically transform the game, giving you faster, stronger, longer jumping ships with much more firepower and the ability to synthesize virtually anything you'll ever need. 
If you've not yet unlocked any or all of the engineers, due to the amount of time required to gather materials, I hope these methods will encourage you to tap into one of the deepest and most powerful aspects of Elite. The difference in a fully grade 5 engineered and stock ship is immense, adding to every aspect of gameplay from exploration and trade to Thargoid and PvP combat. Hopefully this guide will encourage those of you who don't play in open to take the plunge or those interested in PvP to get into the fight. This has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you found that look at material gathering helpful, I hope you'll have a look at my series covering builds for every ship in the game, putting those materials to good use. If you're new to the channel and aren't yet subscribed, I hope you'll do so and that you'll consider supporting me on Patreon, where you can access videos early and join other Patreons in exclusive events.